In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your University of Maryland Global Campus Nova Web Server accounts. If you're using Windows, you will need to download an application called Putty. This application is free of charge. If you go to putty.org, you'll be able to download it directly there. Depending on your version of Windows, you can select either the 32-bit or the 64-bit options. I'm going to go ahead and download the 32-bit option. Once it's downloaded, simply click the install file and follow the directions. Once Putty is completed installing, you should be able to access it through your start menu. The first time Putty opens, you will need to enter the Nova UMUC web server information. Make sure that you have port 22 selected. And I'm going to save this session as Nova and click open. If you get a notification about your server's host key, go ahead and click yes. The first time you log in, you will need to issue the new class command and you will be prompted for your MyUMUC portal username and password. Once you've provided these credentials, you will be provided a temporary password in order to log in. After you've received your temporary password, log in again, and this time you will log in with your new user account and your temporary password. If for some reason you forget your account information or your temporary assigned password, you can reconnect to Nova and log in using chgpass as your login information. Again, you'll be prompted for your university username and password. Once you've confirmed your credentials, you will be provided a list of the classes that you currently have Nova access for, and you'll be asked to choose. If you only are enrolled in one class that's currently using Nova during the semester, that class information should come up automatically. Take a note of your new temporary password. Now we can reconnect one more time. This time I'm going to log in with my real Nova user account. It will ask you to confirm the current temporary password, and then you'll be prompted to enter a new password. You should now be successfully logged into your Nova account. If you're a Mac user, simply go to Spotlight, type in Terminal. You don't need to download any additional software on the Mac. You can simply log straight into Putty by using the SSH command. To end your session in Nova, simply type Exit. If you've forgotten your password for Nova, simply SSH using chgpass at nova.umc.edu. And you will be prompted to enter your university credentials. Once you've created your Nova account and you're able to successfully log in, the next step is to set up a new web directory and also set your permissions correctly. To set up a new web directory, simply issue the command mkdir space www and hit enter. Next, you're going to set permissions for the current directory that you're logged into by issuing the command chmod space 711 space period and hit enter. And now you're going to set those same permissions for the www directory chmod 711 space www. More information on permissions has been provided in your classrooms. When you upload files to your Nova account, you will be uploading them into your www directory. This is demonstrated in a separate video showing you how to use FTP. If you still have any questions or concerns using Nova, please be sure to check out the UMUC Help Center and alternatively check with your professor in your classroom who should be able to address any additional questions you have related to your account setup. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I wish you the very best in your studies this semester.